Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about the PB3V42G3H power rail from MacBook motherboards. What does this PB3V42G3H mean? It means this rail works on 3.42 volts at G3 state which is completely off H means hot so it's there always there even when the laptop is switched off it must be there it must be always there so 3.42 volts power rail if you have a missing 3.42 volts rail in your laptop then your laptop will not work this 3.42 volts is fed to the SMC chip so the SMC will never work without this voltage how does this, vol this uh, voltage is created there is a chip a voltage regulator chip normally you, they used they use LT 3470 AED chip okay so if you find this chip on your MacBook motherboards then you will ha you will know immediately that this chip is responsible for the 3.42 volts power rail this chip has V in pin. This V in pin is connected to a diode, dual package, dual diode in one package. Okay, and then two resistors. One of them is coming from the battery. So if you are if you have the batteries connected, then the battery voltage will appear here. So let's write battery or bat and here adapter. Okay. <coughs> so you must have voltage in one of these two pins for you to have a V in voltage to your regulator chip. So if the battery is connected you should have here 8.4 or so voltage and if the adapter and it's called mega save adapter is connected you should have 14.5 volts okay so if you are missing the 3.42 voltage this pin is called switched and the output is coming from this pin if you are missing the 3.42 volts at the switch pin of this regulator then you must check the V in bin first. Do you have voltage here? If not, then go back and check before these two resistors. If you have the adapter connected, you must have before and after this resistor. And if you have the batteries connected, then you should have a voltage before and after this resistor. If not, if you have voltage in here, but not after the resistors, then you know that this resistor is open circuit, it's blown, then you need to replace it. Okay? So, there is a bin also called shutdown. Okay? SHDN. 
This pin normally is tied through a resistor to the V in. Okay? If you want if if you want to use this chip in another device, not in a laptop, and you want to control that device, powering it on and off, you can use this shutdown bin. If you pulled it to ground, then this chip will not output any voltage. And if you pulled it, if you pull it to V in voltage, then this <coughs> chip will work or will output a voltage. Okay, so we also have a ground bin and we have post bin. This post pin is used to post the output voltage. This is connected to the internal regulator. This pin is connected through a capacitor from the output, from the switch bin, from the output pin. So this one is used to boost the internal regulator. So the regulator will output voltage. There is another bin called bias bin. Okay, bias. Also, this pin is connected to the boost bin, but through a short key diode inside this chip. But this one is, is connected after the inductor. There is an inductor here. Okay, so this pin is connected after the inductor and it's used to bias the internal volt, internal regulator. This, we say this output goes to the SMC chip. Okay. <coughs> we have also been called FP, which means feedback. Let's try FP, FB, which means feedback. This pin is connected through a voltage divider after the coil. So we have here a resistor and then another resistor to ground. And then this feedback pin is connected in the middle of those two resistors. Those two resistors forms a voltage divider. So what does this pin do? The feedback pin do? This pin is used to monitor the output of the switch pin. If the voltage goes down here, this pin also will go down so the internal regulator knows that the switch output need to be increased. And if this output of the switch bin goes high, then the feedback also will go high, and then the internal regulator will know that the output voltage need to be reduced. This is how the PB3V42 G3H power supply work. How, this is how it works. So if you have a missing 3.42 voltage at the switch bin. <coughs> then check, do you have a short in here? If you do have a short in here, in this area, first disconnect the inductor, remove it from the board. And then check, where do you have the short? The load side or to the in regulator side. If it is to the regulator side, then the chip is faulty and need to be replaced. If it is to the load side, then you, you may have SMC shorted or maybe another capacitor within the circuit. Okay? If you don't have any shorts, any shorts within this area, but you still don't have this output, 3.4 volts output, then go back here and check this shutdown bin. Does it 
have the voltage from this VN. If not, this resistor need to be replaced. Also check, as I said before, the VN. Does it have voltage? If it doesn't, check those two resistors. This diode here is used to protect or to prevent the voltage when you connect the adapter. It, these diodes are used to prevent the voltage of the adapter to go back to the battery. If there is no diodes in here, then the voltage will go back to the battery and this will damage the battery. Okay, so this is how PB3V42GH3 work. Okay, I hope this will be helpful. If you like it, please don't forget to share, subscribe, and like. Thank you for watching and see you in another video.